About 5 to 10 percent of breast cancers can be hereditary, and potentially 10 to 25 percent of ovarian cancers can be hereditary. What we're talking about when we talk about a hereditary cancer is that they, a person has inherited a mutation from her mother or her father that is increasing her risk of cancer. If there is a mutation identified, this means that the gene is broken. Basically, it cannot um, help prevent the body from developing cancer, and therefore we want to identify these women and men earlier. So if we do find a genetic mutation, we can employ the um, preventative strategies that we need to reduce the risk of developing cancer. So hereditary breast and ovarian cancer is one that's very popular to talk about because a lot of people have heard these terms before, but it's including the BRCA1 and BRCA2 genes. These stand for breast cancer. Everybody has a BRCA1 and BRCA2 gene, but if we potentially have a broken copy, we need to identify you so we can um, change how we screen you and prevent the cancer from occurring. Another hereditary cancer syndrome is Lynch syndrome, and this is not well known or discussed, and it's very important when we talk about colorectal cancer, endometrial cancers, ovarian cancers that are clustering in families, that we identify these people for Lynch syndrome so we can do colonoscopies at an earlier age, reduce cancer rates for colorectal cancer, ovarian and endometrial cancer, and people that potentially have Lynch syndrome do need to start screening colonoscopies at a very young age. So it's important to talk about these cancers with your provider so we know how to identify who needs to be tested for Lynch syndrome.